Hey guys, my name is Pamela with the Airedale Pro Team and I'm gonna show you how to get perfectly lit for the festival seasons. As you can see, I am glowing, glowing and ready to hit the festivals this coming season. So if you wanna see how to get this look, just keep on watching. So we are all moisturized and ready to prime. I'm gonna be using the Ardell In Her Prime Mattifying Primer so our foundation can stay on all night. So we're just gonna dot this around. So next I'm going to be going into foundation. I'm going to be using two different shades to mix to get my perfect shade. So we're going to be using the Photo Face foundation in shade 11 and 12. So I already pre-mixed it. And a little bit does go a long way. It's nice full coverage and it's mattifying. So you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding as you're getting your party on. So we're just gonna dot this all around. I'm gonna take a wet sponge to go ahead and blend it all throughout to just get a nice, even, flawless canvas. So we're just gonna blend this all around. Make sure we get a nice, even canvas so we can get our party on and look flawless and slay all night. I like this foundation because it's really full of coverage and it's nice and mattifying and you don't have to worry about getting oily or your foundation moving all around. It's a really great foundation. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and move into concealer. My favorite concealer at the moment is the Camouflage Concealer. So it comes in a little tube like this with an applicator. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply some right underneath the eyes and blend that out again with a damp sponge. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eye concealer with just a little bit of our Glam Finale setting powder. It's a translucent powder, a little bit goes a long way with this as well. All you need is just a little dab to set and you'll be ready to go. The kind of brush that I love to use to set my under eye concealer is just a densely packed brush such as this. Okay, next we're gonna move into brows to frame the face. My favorite brow product is the Brow Liberty. It is a micro pencil and it's perfect for people with thicker eyebrows that just need to fill in just a little bit here and there. Cause it just gives you a little bit more definition and control. So I'm gonna be using that today. It also does come with a spoolie, so it's a really great product. I just really love this pencil. It's super fine and you can really just define and make your brow. I really love this pencil because it's super precise and it just really gets into any parts of your brow that you need to fill in and just makes your brow just super defined. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and sculpt on our brows. If you are not doing this step when you fill in your brows, you are missing out, girl, you need to do this. So, we're gonna be using, again, the same concealer we used under our eyes, I'm gonna be using that. With this, I just take a little bit on the back of my hand, and then you're just gonna sculpt out your brow. This is a great trick, whether you just came fresh from getting your eyebrows done, or whether you need to get your eyebrows done, this is a lifesaver. So you just line right underneath, and you're gonna go ahead and drag it down. And you can just blend it out with your finger. Okay, now we're getting into the fun part, which is the eyes, the star of the show. In order to do that, we're gonna start off with putting our primer on, which is the In Her Prime Shimmer Primer. This is gonna help your eyeshadow to last all night. It's gonna help your eyeshadows not to crease. And this is a really cool product too because it has an applicator on it. You can either use it straight from the applicator or apply it to finger. I also like to apply concealer on my lids because that's gonna help the shadows pop even more and really bring out the color. So again, we are using the Camouflage Concealer and again, the shade number eight. As you can see, I really love this product. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of lightly just put it over the lids and blend it out just a little bit for now. So before I start applying the eyeshadow, I like to get a little bit of scotch tape. That's a kind of a beauty hack, if you will. And you kind of could just take off some of the stickiness on the back of your head and apply it like so. 
this is just gonna keep everything contained it kind of gives you a nice guideline of where you want your shadows to go so it just won't be going all over the place So I'm going to be using the Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette by Ardell. I'm going to be using a base, which is just this brown neutral shade. I'm going to sweep that all over the lid. So I just go ahead and dust that evenly over the entire lid. This is just going to help all your eyeshadows to blend nicely. Next, we're going to go with the crease with a warmer tone. I'm gonna go into a deeper darker shade just to smoke out the outer portion of my eye to give a nice sultry look on our night out at the festival okay now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease just a little bit again with the camera flash concealer as you can see again I really like this product it's multi-purpose we're gonna apply it to the back of our hand again and use a flat dense brush to apply we're just going to go ahead and cut that crease to give it a nice defined look and you want to take it just about halfway in not over the entire lid just halfway in will be just fine we're going to go in with the shimmer gold shade in the palette this gold shade is super popping it will have you being the star of the show. You don't wanna swipe it, you're just gonna go ahead and dab it onto your eyelid. Next, we're gonna go in with the burgundy shade right in the center of the lid. It's gonna give you some sunset vibes at the festival. Just wait for it, wait for it. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and highlight under the brow bone with the lightest shade in the palette. It is a matte, creamy looking shade. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with a awesome white pencil. Super creamy, glides on easily. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our tape. going to take a liquid liner just to kind of define right underneath just right at the outer corner where I got my wig extended this way we're going to go right underneath with a black liner just to kind of give it a more defined look uh, we're going to be using the fame chaser in the shade patent leather next we're going to make our eyes pop even more we're going to use want to get lucky in the shade ink again want to get lucky eyeliners are the bomb they glide on easily they stay all night they're super amazing you're just gonna apply that right to your waterline next i'm gonna go on with the mega volume mascara i love this mascara it really lengthens and volumizes my lashes while blending them nicely into my false lashes so we're just gonna go ahead and give a coat onto our lashes i like to do this before i put my false lashes on so that my false lashes could have more longevity and they can last longer. Okay, so you wanna just apply a thin strip of glue along the lash band and you wanna put a little bit extra on each end just because those are the ends that tend to lift. And again, this glue gets tacky and half the time as regular adhesive. You can just go ahead and lay down the middle. Then lay down each end. We're gonna go ahead and apply our highlighter. We're gonna use the Attitude Adjuster in the shade Perfectly Lit. Our highlight is about to be popping. We are gonna be the light of the night, we are gonna be popping, everything's gonna be shining so nicely. So we're gonna take just a drop of that, and then this is another product where a little bit does go a long way. We're just gonna go ahead and apply this to the top of the cheekbone. Just dot it, and then we're going to blend it out. So again, just take a damp beauty sponge and just get to blending. 
Next, I'm gonna use a blush. This is Blush Me Harder in the shade Sex Confessions and Very Vulgar. The very, a uh, really cool thing about this blush is it has two shades, so it has a lighter shade and a darker shade. You can either use whatever one you prefer or you can just swirl it around all together to make a custom shade, which is what I'm gonna do now. And the final step is to apply your favorite lippy. The lippy that I'm gonna apply is Vital Vixen in the shade Soft Touch. It's a nice, super glossy shade, and it's just a neutral tone that's gonna to last you all night. If you wanna kick your look up a notch and be a little bit more festive, we could add some amazing details with our Fame Chaser liner. So the first liner I'm gonna use is in patent leather, it's a black liquid liner. So I'm just gonna do dots right underneath the brow. The next eyeliner I'm gonna use is the white eyeliner. I'm gonna just put a couple of dots right underneath our wing liner to just add a little bit of interest. And to top off the look fully and completely, add the cherry on top, we're gonna add a little jewel. Again, just for fun, you don't have to do any of these things, but if you wanna be a little extra, you can, so let's do that.